and you light it on the top. And so you get a little flame going, and the heat will transfer down into the fuel by radiation from that flame. And as it heats the pellets, they start outgassing. First they're going to lose some moisture, water, and then they're going to lose hydrogen and oxygen. And that's what we call wood gas. So it's a gas fire. And the flame burns the gas. And when all the uh, gas is gone over the wood, you get these little charcoal pellets, which will keep burning, but we put it out with water and see the charcoal. So that's the whole process. And the key to that is to remember that wood burns in two stages. You probably see this in a campfire, right? You put some wood in a campfire, and it's burning really well. And then at a certain point, the flame goes out and you have these glowing coals. And I know if you, Lots of times I'll go to a campground where somebody's built this big giant fire and then, you know, they're not really thinking about efficiency. And there might be a campfire ring. And so you dig through all the ashes, find these big lumps of charcoal that didn't get burned. And that's why, it's because the charcoal burns very differently. It does not have a flame. It just kind of glows. So um, that's the key to making this work. Having a lump of your punching in the bottom of these barrels. I drill them. Yeah. What size? 